Hello, people of the interwebs. It's me, Yellow Cat, back for another YouTube video. And today, uh, I know I've been uploading a lot of different random U videos and stuff. Uh, yeah, but today, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial for an automatic pumpkin slash melon farm that works both on PC and Xbox 360 edition. That I came up with a long time ago. And uh, people keep asking about it and how it works and how it functions and how do you build one. So yeah, I'll show you guys that today. Um, this is a four cell one. Uh, you can build a two cell, a three cell, you know, wh whatever you have the room for. Also two cell that, that way. Yep. Two cells work along the bottom or along the left or the right. So yeah. And over here I kind of have like a facade or a face. Whatever on this one, so you don't really see all the redstone, and you just kind of get a look in on the plants. And this is uh, one way you can do this. I mean, you can't really put any floor in between here because it's even in here. It's either like half slabs, but yeah. So that just goes down there and fills out to this chest, and this has probably been working off camera while, yeah. It's been harvesting. This one, harvested one. They're not that efficient. At like this level right here, what these are, but there's probably ways of making them more efficient. You guys can experiment on that. Anyways, let's get into building. So, let me go to my survival inventory. You're kind of gonna need everything that's in here except that, that, and that. Kind of all that stuff is more of a side stuff. All the stuff, all that's down here is more what you need for the actual building part. You're gonna need to see like some kind of light source. I went with sea lanterns because it kind of looks good with the quartz. It also has that awesome effect. Anyways, but yeah, hoppers. We don't need hoppers yet. So, let's get to building. Actually, we need that quartz. We need block quartz. So, let's build a single one first. Uh, bottom left single one. So, in order to do that, you're gonna want to start out by placing your plant block, where you can place your plant, and one of the growing block where the plant is going to grow a uh, melon or pumpkin over to. Next, you're going to want to go around here Oop. and make it like that, that awkward shape that kind of has that hook. That empty spot right there is actually going to be where water goes. And then next, alright. Let's pull up the rest of our blocks, and that, that's all you're going to need for right now. Now let's go on to pistons. So you're going to need a normal average piston right here. That will push off the block into the hoppers or whatever you stream or item collection you have right here. Above that, you're going to want to have a sticky piston. And then a block in front of it. So this has created an update circuit, so when this pushes out, that pushes out in, or wait, no, opposite way. When a block comes here, this pushes out, which then updates this piston due to redstone, and yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll see that here in just a bit. So, place redstone dust, redstone dust, redstone dust. And then we want a repeater to set to one tick. This thing has handy right here. Or it's just along a one, or you just default. Default is another one. And a redstone torch. Now this whole thing is activated, so when I place a block here, it's gonna power, this repeater is gonna power the block that's right here. That's in this gap, and it's gonna power this piston above. This piston is gonna cause an update to this piston down below through redstone current. Um, so tell me how this works. Um, there are plenty of other YouTubers who can explain it probably better than I can. But yeah, so there's your single cell one. Just place a light over here. And then let's grab... So what I use mainly for this in Xbox is pumpkin. So let's plant pumpkin here. Uh, grab our bone meal real quick. Boop. And wait. There, full your own. And now that'll grow over here, and this will automatically harvest it. Alright, so 
most of you guys probably don't have too tall of ceiling, because this thing requires a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tall ceiling. I mean, you can implant this right here into the ground one. It's only maybe like about 5 tall ceiling, and then like, up here would be your ceiling. I don't know. So, yeah. Alright, so the next step would just be you go straight across. So to go straight across, we're going to leave this torch here, and we're going to build another hook, except it's going to be a little shorter, along with the two grass blocks, or dirt blocks, whatever, I just use grass because habits, up in front. Now let's go grab our water really quick, and place it right there, and then the two quartz blocks at the back. There you go. No, it doesn't, again, it doesn't have to be specific quartz or anything, but a block. Except this has to be like a dirt or something that can grow something on. So, yeah. Anyways, now let's get our normal piston. And... Sticky piston. With another block. And we get our repeater in here. And dust. And now that one's activated. Except it's not going to harvest anything, so we need to fix that real quick. Open seeds, and... And... Foam meal! Wonderful. Right, let's grab this really quick. Sea lantern, all lit up. There we go, wonderful. So we got our two cell. Now let's move on to a quad cell, which is about the next one. I mean, you can build a three cell if you need to, but... Next level up from dual cells quad. And if I didn't explain before, this torch, and either over this way, or over this way, is one cell. So from this point right here, and over is a cell, or this point, and over is a cell. Depends on which direction you want to have the torch on. Anyways, let's grab our blocks again. And let's start out by placing dirt right there. Dirt right there. Let's place a block right on top of the torch. Three in front. And then we're going to do our little hook thing right there, or whatever shape that is. Let's, let's go with like a dual hook system. And then we have new, two new spots for water and for water. That will not slow down and destroy any redstone, not at all, because this block, or the piston head part, is always going to be blocking it. So the water never flows down unless you have, like, finite liquid or some awkward mod that will make it do that. But, I highly doubt most of you guys have that. But, anyways, continuing on, let's do the two blocks in the back, and let's do our normal piston. Normal piston. Oh yeah, see, it grew. Anyways, and then let's place a temporary block. Sticky piston. Temporary block. Sticky piston. I'm not changing it up or anything. Oh, okay, I fell down. And there we go. Now, I, I, you shouldn't have placed that block right there, it should have been like another hole right there. Now, what this is doing is we're only getting power from one block. True, you can do a probably a redstone block above like the dust and then like place the dust over top of it and everything else like that. But this way it just it's cheaper. But it does it's what it needs to. And we place our dust, and there we go. Boom. Actually, we're not quite done yet. Let's place our Oh no, 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 no. Bone meal and pumpkin seed. Alright, let's place it here. Bone meal it. Place it. Oh, that's not good. Ha! Fix it. Alright. Yeah, try not to uh, till that. Sometimes it doesn't like to grow over on tilled soil. Don't know why. It just doesn't. And there we go. So, now you guys can either put, well, if be while being careful, a water stream across the front of these so that the blocks simply just pop off and go into the water stream. You just 
boop, pops off and into the water stream. Or, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up to a hopper system. Now, to do that, I'm gonna place a chest opposite of this. And just build it straight across. And then, after you got your bottom story done of hoppers, so that, or bottom story, bottom cells connected up to hoppers, and we're going to go to our top cells. Now you can move this chest over more if you really want to, but I'm like, time saving, ah, exit chest. Yeah, so, and I just decided to do this. And right across the top there. So now it's out of the way of viewing of the plants, or else your hoppers would be right in front of here. And you can see everything. I mean, you can add a face to it. I'm not going to show you how, because it's fairly simple, and you guys can design your own. But, yeah, that's about it. And then your system will start harvesting, and it'll go in, and down. Boom. There we go. And, okay, well, I keep saying and, 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 the Words, Junior. Anyways. So, if you want to tile this even further, you can do that by simply... See how there's a three gap in between with quartz and then two dirt blocks? Well, to tile it on, 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 and just continue building one that keeps going on forever, or to tile it upwards, you just practically rebuild what you have down here and slap it on top of there and just build straight off of that and just continue up. This thing is tileable upwards, um, that way, and practically any other way you really want to, I think. But yeah, to tile it this way, you just practically... This is where you start on the next one when it comes to like the grass blocks. Eh, till that, just for a second, so it's demonstrable. So yeah, and then that's kind of how the pattern goes. From the chest, the pattern goes two grass blocks two build blocks, or what, the building blocks, whatever you use. I use quartz, so let's just say quartz. Three quartz, four dirt, three quartz, four dirt, three quartz, four dirt, no, 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 until you get to the end, then it'd be like two dirt. Or you can cut it and be two quartz. If you only have enough room for like a, a half of the cell or something, and you build like two star tall. Uh, well, that's it. As uh, to the other cat, I will um, say goodbye to you guys later. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, there are probably smaller ways of doing this, but this is the best way I found in- Oh! 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 Xbox. Xbox Edition. So, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!